I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This is a piano that we just finished up for somebody. They gave us a swatch. We've done lots of colors over the years. Um, <clears throat> I don't know that I can even name all of them. We've done uh, lots and lots of different shades of white. We've done um, a gray one. We've done several blue, a navy blue and a kind of a baby blue. We've done um, lavender. We've done, I think we, we did one not too long ago that had gold legs. Oh, what was that color? It was a, the, the piano itself was a certain color and, the, and the, the legs were gold. Anyway, so this is, this is the latest color piano. So this is not paint, which is crucial. I mean, this is, you know, this is paint. This is lacquer, which, which is what you, what you use for wood furniture is lacquer. So, so lacquer can be tinted and um, thanks to Sherwin-Williams for, for tinting this lacquer for us. They always do a great job. She, she came in, she had us, she gave us a swatch and we took it over to Sherwin-Williams and then we just did a little sample for her. She came in, checked out that sample, she said that's perfect, that's exactly what I'm looking for. And then we proceeded to do the rest of the piano. And it turned out great. I mean, this was just kind of your typical um, Typical sort of wood, I don't know, walnut, Baldwin from, I'm not sure what year it is, maybe 1970s, 1980s, maybe, something like that. So, so yeah, I mean, that, the, so, so the advantage of the lacquer, of course, it, it feels totally different than, than paint that you paint the wall with. It, it endures totally differently. It's it's going to be more durable. It's, it's also a thinner, physically it's thinner. So um, on, on a wall, of course, it doesn't matter how thick the paint is, but on, on a piano, it's crucial because you have some really tight um, points of uh, contact. And also something else that I should say I've actually worked on lots of pianos over the years where people have painted them like in their garage. They'll take it apart and there's all sorts of issues. It's fraught with you know, issues. Um, for example, well, one, they won't take it completely apart. And so they'll get paint as much as they try to, to mask off the, the keys, for example. Inevitably, there's going to be some paint that makes it on the keys. That's always the case. And also they can't get this nice little red kind of accent felt at the back of the keys. And then worse than that though, is the paint over time, it seals everything up. So I've actually, it's been probably more than once, I don't know, two or three times over my career that I've actually had to take a razor blade in order, people have called me over to, to tune it in order to take the piano apart after it's been painted. I'd, ha I'd have to take a razor blade to, to the various areas to you know, like right here, for example, to get this piece out so I can tune the piano, cut the cut the acrylic paint or, or whatever it was, whatever type of paint, so that I could pull it out without risking peeling the paint off entirely. Which uh, brings me to my next issue with paint, is that uh, even after the paint's all dry and then these parts are screwed together, they're sticking to each other, the, the, the paint, it does, it does stick. Um, to to other paint. So like if you go in to service it and then you pull off a part and, and it's in an area particularly where you can't get a razor blade in there, that whole piece is just gonna peel right off and I've seen that happen and that's very disheartening after the person spends the, the entire summer painting their piano. Um, anyway, I didn't mean to go off on that tangent. I just wanted to kind of show off this, this uh, pretty little pink Baldwin. So, uh, yeah, there it is. If you have a color that you'd like to do, whether it's mauve or uh, any shade of green or orange or whatever your Pinterest searching finds you or whatever your imagination comes up with, we can do it.